Hi everyone, welcome back to our Dutch farmhouse. I am currently working on our kids' bedroom makeover and this is actually part two, so I will link to part one in the description if you've missed it. But to summarize, I have emptied out his old bedroom, which looked like this which is not bad, just not very functional. I also showed you how I made a plan with him, creating a Pinterest board and landing on a light colored room with a beautiful shade of orange. So I started by emptying out the entire room. I got rid of all the green walls and replaced it with an orange wall. I also did a half orange wall divided by a diagonal line, which I think looks really cool. Then I replaced his bed with a loft bed so he has more room to play. I built some shelves to the side of it, added a desk underneath with really cool LED lighting above it, and some storage underneath the desk as well. And that is where I left you because this was quite some work. I could not fit that into one video, but there was also still a lot more that needed to be done. So let's get into it. The new flooring has arrived, so I can finally get started on that. That does mean that I have to move the bed out of the way, so I have already emptied everything out. I have also detached the shelves that I made to the side of the bed, and I'm going to try and move the bed out of the way by myself, which should be interesting. I want to move it to the side so that I can reach the carpet in this corner and pull it all up. Then I want to move the bed back, and then I want to roll up the carpet all the way to the end of the room so that I can move it out of the way. But first I am going to paint those two other walls that I still had to do. They are going to be the same color as this lighter one here. Thankfully the carpet was not glued down, so it was pretty easy to get it out, even if I was just by myself. I rolled it up, I taped it together, and then I took it out. Things were actually going pretty smoothly so far. I also explained in the first episode of this makeover that the closet that was here was put in before the flooring was, leaving us with a hole in the carpet when we took the closet out. So I didn't really see any other option than to replace the entire carpet in the room. I also had to replace part of the stuff that's underneath the carpet, which I luckily still had laying around. And the baseboard was missing there as well, so I put in a new one. We chose to do carpet tiles so that I could easily install it myself, which was definitely the case. The whole process took me less than a day. Now because I had built the bed before replacing the carpet, because we had to wait for the carpet to arrive, I did have to take it apart partially to be able to move it around so that I could reach all the parts where the floor needed to go. And then after putting in all the new carpet, I put the whole thing back together exactly the way that it was, like nothing ever happened. But taking out the closet obviously meant that we needed a new solution for storing clothing and I decided not to build this myself this time. This makeover with the new carpet and the new bed and everything was already getting pretty expensive so I went for a more budget friendly solution and got a cabinet online. Now this cabinet is exactly the same untreated pine wood color as the bed so it matches very nicely. All I had to do was put it together which sounds very easy but this took me a very, very long time. <laughs> this cabinet has two normal doors and three pull-out drawers, which to be honest, is a little small. I probably could have, should have gone with a bigger version, but I didn't. So we're just gonna have to make it work. <laughs> I will leave a link to where I got this cabinet in the description in case you wanna check it out. Then, curtains. 
There were green curtains in this room, which of course fit the style of the room that I had before, but I wanted to go with something else and I kind of thought that I could get away with using curtains that I had laying around because they had a very neutral color, which would have been lovely money saving wise, but when I put them up, they gave a pinkish glow, which was not ugly at all. It actually looks really good, but I thought it was a little bit too cute for this boy's bedroom. Um, the colors he had chosen were already quite sweet, so I wanted to add some contrast anyway and decided to add some blue accents. So I went out to Ikea and got some new curtains. These are the Tybast, Tybast curtains in blue. Again, I will link everything in the description down below. While I was there, I also picked up this awesome rug. I really do think it looks really, really good for the price. Ikea rugs are very affordable and this one in particular is very soft and fluffy and comfortable to sit on, which is great for playing with your big collection of toy cars, which I also had a nice solution for, by the way, but I'll get back to that later. Then I just had to take off a little bit of the curtains, so I pinned them where I wanted them cut and took out my sewing machine and got to work taking them in. I hung them pretty close to the ceiling and all the way down to the floor, making the room look a bit higher than it is. I do this in pretty much every room, especially downstairs, we have very low ceilings. So putting up the curtain all the way up to the ceiling and all the way down to the floor gives the illusion of a higher ceiling, a higher space, which I really like the look of. Now, as I said, our kid has got quite the collection of Hot Wheels, which if you don't know, are tiny toy cars. They were all just thrown into a big box, but he actually takes them out to play with a lot and he knows exactly which ones are supposed to be in there. So I thought if you're this passionate about your collection, it probably needs a proper place to store and display them. So I had promised to build him what we call a vertical garage. <laughs> You can see exactly how I built this in my last video, which I will link up here, but also in the description. But in short, I built a box with a grid inside, put a decorative piece of wood onto the top and spray painted the whole thing black with a stained piece of wood as kind of a background. Then I hung it onto the wall in his bedroom and put all of his cars inside, sorted by color, of course. Then I just needed to do some finishing touches. For some art on the wall, he chose a picture of a very adorable tiger cub. Um, I got this print off of Etsy and simply had it printed onto a foam board. And whenever I do this, I print multiple pictures on one foam board. I make sure that they are all exactly the right size for their frames. And then I cut them out to use in different rooms. So in this case, I also got some prints uh, for other frames around the house. So I just cut out the tiger picture, put in the frame, put a piece of cardboard of the same size behind it and taped it all securely with painter's tape so that it doesn't fall out. I use this method for everything, for all the frames around the house. I like to change up the art inside, which makes it really easy this way. And also I very often buy frames without any art in it. So it often doesn't have a backing. And this way it just keeps the art inside. It doesn't fall out, it works. And it's on the back, so you can't see it anyway. So now all that was left were just some little things to make it all come together. I put up his clock again in a place where he can see it from his bed because that's what he wanted. <laughs> and I also got this really cool black magnetic memo board when I was at Ikea and put it up right above his desk. I also got these colored markers that were sold right next to it, but we have since learned that they do not work on black. So he can only use the white chalk pen with it. But anyway, let me show you how it turned out. it was pretty cool. He also thought it was really cool. He spends a lot of time in there now, so I think I did well. 
For now, I am going to take a couple of weeks off, enjoy a vacation with the family, and then I will be back with more projects around the house because this farmhouse is not nearly done. There are still a lot more things that I need to do. We wanna build an office. There's a media room that definitely needs some work. I also wanna do some projects outside. So stick around for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you in the next one.